In spring 2016, administrators from Oregon State University's Office of the CIO and Office of the Provost hosted an adaptive learning open house. During the open house, 11 different providers of what was described as adaptive and personalized learning platforms, or courseware, shared demos of their products, with the event culminating in a panel discussion. The idea was to help educators to understand this developing educational technology market and get a direct look at what is being provided while also hearing from peers about their experiences. But the terminology itself can be confusing. How does the technology language of platforms and courseware translate into the language of people on the front line of course and program design and instruction? And why have this event in the first place? Let's listen to several of the attendees to hear their perspectives. The main goal is to really engage faculty in the process of how do we explore the multitude of tools that are out there? How do we go through a process of review? One, let's put them side by side so that we can, our faculty especially, have a chance to kind of see things side by side. I've had that opportunity in a couple of different venues leading up to this, and it seemed that how do I basically take that information and spread it out to people rather than, well, let's just show them. You know, let's just put them side by side and let them have the same opportunity. Bottom line, how do we determine which tools are really the best fit for what we want to do, how we want to do it, where we want to do it, and for whom? I'm really trying to differentiate between what's considered adaptive learning, individualized learning, and personalized learning. In our strategic plan, the number one goal is to create a transformative learning environment. Yep. And our tactical goal to get there is personalized learning at scale. We actually use some of this in IntroPsych already, and we talked to a number of the providers over the past couple of years. So we're not seeing a lot that's new here in particular. And it, it's nice to have all the providers, including some that, that you know we hadn't really had much exposure to, all in one place where you can kind of, uh, of compare. For me, it's really a set of adaptive tools and technology that we're looking at it as being something that will help us advance student success. From my perspective, not just advance it, but also equalize it. Some areas where there's a lot of uh, differentiation depending on student preparation, student background, student experience, a number of things. We believe that these tools can be, <clears throat> excuse me, a piece of a larger approach that can help us to actually advance student success, but also equalize it. You know, there are people who are essentially um, Textbook Plus providers yep. who are selling you packaged content with everything, with every possible yep. bell and whistle, which you know looks fantastic. You know, there's no denying the the big publishers have have lots of great content, um, but. Uh, ultimately at the same time it, it's someone else's content so I think for any institution it's like what do we do with that if it's so if it's prepackaged. I tend to see personalized learning as more of an emphasis on a student's funds of knowledge um, what they're bringing to the content and being able to scaffold uh, that content against the experiences that they they have their motivation level their interest level and I see that as being very different than what I'm hearing down there in wow. terms of adaptive learning. There seems to be more of an emphasis on individualizing the content more so than personalizing it. As I am correctly or incorrectly responding to a question, my learning path is different, but it doesn't necessarily tap into my funds of knowledge or into my interests.